Lions goes back in time to become a 1667 John Hunter classic. Nick, what is Gangster's Paradise Lost? Yes. A Jeopardy contestant's mispronunciation of the word gangsta lost him $3,200 on the show Monday evening, and elicited strong reactions from viewers online. Nick's picture, a museum educator from Everett, Washington, went on to win Monday's round of Jeopardy with $15,201, even with what could have been a game-losing mistake along the way. Alex Strebeck, the game show's longtime host, posed the $1,600 clue for the music and literature before and after category, a song by Coolio from Dangerous Minds goes back in time to become a 1,667 John Milton classic. Spitcher responded, What is Gangster's Paradise Lost? A play on Coolio's song Gangster's Paradise and Milton's Paradise Lost. Initially, Trebek said Spitcher had the correct answer. But later, Trebek revealed some bad news. The judges have re-evaluated one of your responses a few moments ago, Nick, Trebek said. You said gangsters instead of gangsters on that song by Coolio. At that point Spitcher's winnings dropped from $12,000 to $8,800, thus losing $3,200 and putting him in second place. Fortunately for Spitcher, he rallied to win Monday night show, and went on to get second place and $2,000 on Tuesday night. Jeopardy released a statement from the show's judges table on Monday night, explaining how the mispronunciation elicited the correction. Gangsta and gangster have two different listings in the Oxford English Dictionary, Jeopardy's judges table noted. Nick changed not only the song's title, but also its meaning, making his response unacceptable, they wrote. The clip of Spitcher's answer went viral this week as viewers shared the slight slip-up on social media. On what appears to be Spitcher's Twitter account, he live-tweeted his appearance on Tuesday night's episode and joked about how his mistake had gone viral. He tweeted that he thought he had said gangsta, but said the show had every right to call me out on it. I still don't know what to make of this whole Coolio thing, Spitcher wrote on Twitter Tuesday. I think I already said all I'm going to say on it. I'm glad people are having fun with it. And I hope it blows over soon.